this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Man, look at him load up on that right. All right, so there's the early takedown. It told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, side control now. Oh, really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Anderson's got the full mount. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Back to the feet now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Anderson. Right punches there. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Straight right, he misses. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. The right hook to the body. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Nice strike. Plus right hand is true. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Double jab there by Chor. Tie now. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Good stick. There's no give on that leg kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time hitting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. 
Oh, he hurt it badly, Jack. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last run. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, second round is underway. Your Ready? thoughts on what we saw over the Ready? first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? His misses are entertaining. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice up kill there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Short. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, can't do that in soccer, but it's allowed here. Nice trip to get the takedown. Oh, great foot sweep right there. Got to the clinch, started manipulating the body in the moment his opponent took a misstep. Boom, tripped him right over the top. Great job. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, nice. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullets. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Keep moving. Joy's kick is blocked. Real nice body to land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Anderson gives the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Two minutes remain in the round. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. He's trying to double up on that jab. Anderson's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Effective strike there by Anderson. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
Outstanding kick there by Anderson. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of us. Anderson gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. You don't know when that leg kick is coming. Final seconds. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Anderson. They continue to exchange. Nice face out land. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, that's a good right hand. Connects with a right. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Nice. Oh, back to the overhand right. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Keep your hands up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Anderson gets the tie clinch here. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the lap. Wow. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high crotch and just following the action. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Beautiful strike. Oh, he missed with that right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! <laughs> Got the single collar tie. Nice punch there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Joy gets hit by that kick to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 
He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Back to the jab now, no good. Beautiful body kick. Back and forth we go here. Effective jab there by Choi. Oh, eats a knee. And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just out of range with that right hook. 15 seconds. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Good punch, Lance. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Don't wait. You hit him first. Oh, that's a nice strike. He goes to the body there. Going to the body there with the right kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Lands a switch. Well, missed on that one. So once again, he lands another punch and making use of his decided edge and reach in this matchup. Punch is blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. He lands flush with that right hand. Missed with that attempt. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, nice. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Outstanding output on both sides. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Great punch landing with so much power. Nice defense there, huge block. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful takedown land. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jumped up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestle. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Anderson. Both fighters back to their feet now, and they separate. 
So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Joy gets caught with that punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Straight right is there. Swing and a miss by Choi. Punch over the top. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He can't take any of those kicks. Just out of range with the big right hand. Joy gets hit with a kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. And now he's got the tight. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Beautiful leg kick throw. That's a big strike right there. Another shot lands upstairs. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Ooh, big shot lands. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Let's go. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now. Oh! Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch land. Ooh. Throws the right hand there. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Joy gets touched by that kick to the body. Nice kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. 
you can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Connects with the right. Anderson's in half guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Down into his mouth. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Good series of strikes. Oh! fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom, nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he's back up again, you gotta like that. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storr. Nice loop and punch. 30 seconds to go now. Liver kick. All right, so he leads. Wow! decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a